Did consciousness develop recently? No, consciousness didn't just show up last Tuesday because evolution finally got bored. It emerged gradually over deep time, with important biological building blocks appearing hundreds of millions of years ago. Humanity's favorite pastime is pretending its own mental life is a brand new app update. But evolutionary thinkers remind us that consciousness is best treated as a gradual product of descent with modification, not a cosmic surprise party for Homo sapiens. The idea that a single aha moment produced subjective experience is appealing in a dramatic Netflix special way, yet evolutionary theory frames consciousness as a series of incremental innovations, sensory integration, learning, and internal models, stacked over eons until something like me could complain about Mondays. If you prefer a timeline with fewer metaphors and more fossils, the first flickers of sentience likely coincide with the Cambrian explosion about 540 million years ago, when mobile predators and prey made feeling pain and pleasure actually useful for survival. That's when nervous systems got serious. Centralized networks, brainstem arousal systems, and thalamocortical communication began to knit sensations into something richer than reflexes creating the neurological scaffolding for subjective experience. So no, consciousness didn't arrive on a comet. It was built by slow, stubborn biological engineering over geological time. Neuroscience adds a helpful taxonomy so we can argue politely about definitions at dinner parties. Researchers outline distinct forms of consciousness, basic arousal, general alertness, and reflexive self-awareness each offering different adaptive advantages and evolving at different times and rates. In plain English, being awake is not the same as being aware that you're awake, and neither is the same as writing a passive-aggressive poem about your cat. These gradations explain why some animals show complex behavior without necessarily hosting the full human-style inner monologue. So why do some people insist consciousness is recent? Because our species' cultural and linguistic fireworks make subjective experience feel fresh and dramatic. Language, social learning, and symbolic thought amplified pre-existing conscious capacities into the rich inner lives we recognize in literature and late-night philosophy. But amplification is not invention. It's the difference between building a radio and inventing the concept of music. One is hardware, the other is culture riding on that hardware. In the end, consciousness is ancient, layered, and annoyingly incremental, not a late-breaking novelty. It evolved as nervous systems grew more integrated, then got a cultural turbo boost in humans. If you want to keep arguing that consciousness is new because your neighbor just discovered